In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program here on social media. I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty. Mm. Angel Snub Nub 7, I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Tali Ibn Ra. Before I continue, I want to give honor and respect to my spiritual father, of whom this would be the 117th anniversary of his birth. And that man we know of as the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. <clears throat> I want to say this to black youth. I want to say this to our black children, African American children, Negro children, however you view yourself. The children of the descendants of slaves born in America. I mean no disrespect to nobody, but I have to speak harsh because this is the reality's temple. And I have to bring a message to us in a real sense. I cannot la di da. I can't gloss over. I can't make things beautiful. I have to tell you things just the way they are. <clears throat> I lately have listened to a lot of videos speaking about black youth and how you are under attack and how you're so special, and blase, blah, 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 blah. At one time, I was a black youth. What has my generation really done? And why didn't we do better? For generations, the black youth supposed to be this and that, the black youth gonna do what? What you gonna do? What we gonna do? I was a youth, a black youth. Your mother was a black youth. Your grandmother was a black youth. Your great grandmother. All our people. At one time, all of us was the black youth. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? History has already shown what we gonna do. And clearly, you're looking at the situation, some things have been done, but it seems as though our condition is just as worse as it, ha it has ever been. A black youth, a black child, when I was a black youth, a black child, in my teens, I did not know nothing, and you don't know nothing. So why is so much expected out of what the black youth going to do? Black youth depend on their elders like anybody else. 
if you depend on these black youth, what kind of black youth do we see running around today? This is not all of us, but it's a good, it's a nice chunk because the majority of black youth don't give a care about black liberation. They, don't, they do not care about the struggle. What do you see in black youth? You see a bunch of drunks, whoremongers, whores, pants sagging, thong in the backside, yellow and blue hair, bunch of dope fiends and worse. You don't get no emotion from the black youth until somebody is killed. Michael Brown. But then pretty soon, in less than a month, or in a little bit before, I know before the year is out, you will forget about Michael Brown, regardless to what the verdict, whether that police officer is going to be indicted or not. It makes no difference. You have forgotten Trayvon Martin already. Then the black youth, you blame your elders, but at the same time, you forget that you cannot stay black youth forever. Pretty soon, you are going to become a black elder. So when you become a black elder, what did you do and what are you doing now to make you different from the elders that you blaming your situation on right now? What will you do? What have black youth done? They talk about the black elders have not done this and the black elders have not done that. But what have you done? You've changed no law. You've done absolutely nothing in order to improve the condition. In fact, the reason why you are living as well as you're living right now, it is because you're doing on the backs of some black elders. It is not my fault that we as a people can't get, can't get it together. Only a small handful of us strive and, and fight. And then the, the masses majority benefit and, and didn't do nothing at all, like some of y'all doing right now. Beyonce is Beyonce, Jay-Z is Jay-Z, and LeBron James, LeBron James, and all our people, all of you got these opportunities on the backs of those who are willing to die and suffer, but they don't care. What are the black youth doing? You have men like Farrakhan and Sharpton and Jackson. They should have set their butt down a long time ago. But there is no black youth that's doing anything to take these men's place. And why is that? Youth means nothing when you have no brains. Youth means nothing when you have no plan, you have no goal. Youth means nothing when the only thing you want to do is live happy in your oppression. Youth equals life. But you follow the dead. You follow Jesus. You follow Muhammad. You follow Malcolm. You follow Garvey. You wasting your youth on a, on a cemetery. There's an old saying, young men for war, old men for counsel. But as a black youth, we've chosen to follow the wrong elders. An elder must represent separation. If they're not talking about separation, then you should not be following them. You should not be following up behind somebody that's trying to integrate you into a, into a society and a nation that put you in the condition that you're living in right now. So it is no shock that you have a Trayvon Martin. It is no shock that you have a Michael Brown. When you lay with dogs, you get fleas. There will be more Trayvon Martins. There will be more Michael Brown. It ain't stopped. This has been going on for 400 years. I'm going to say that again. This has been going on for 400 years, and you act like it's a surprise. How is it a surprise? You're living among immoral people. These are the children that killed and murdered your ancestors. You think they care anything about us? No. They just don't want you to get mad and demonstrate your black youth and follow the right elder. Because that elder will lead you to true freedom, justice, and equality. Not integration with your slave master and their children. 
So you're going to blame myself as an elder. You're going to blame the elders prior to myself and on down the line for the hell that you catch. But at the same time, you think you're going to stay a black youth forever. What you going to tell the little babies that's being born right now and you are an elder to them right now, what are you going to tell them? We keep following dead folks that's been in the cemetery. I love Malcolm. I love Marcus Garvey, Nat Turner. I love all our freedom fighters, but the living or the dead cannot help the living. You got to use your brain. You mean to tell me your brain is less than Malcolm? Your brain is less than Elijah Muhammad? Our brain is less than Marcus Garvey? Our brain is less than the Moors and the Egyptians? Our brain is less? But they, they was riding horses and you drive a 2015 Cadillac. You're still begging for Massa with all your education and all your money. You're still uh, a professional beggar. What you going to tell black youth when you become an elder? In fact, you are an elder right now. It's a black baby being born right now that's being put in the same position you are right now. So when they get of age and they look at you, what you going to tell them? What you going to do? What did you do? Now, I'm still catching the same hell in 2045 because y'all didn't do nothing in 2014. So let us not be, be arrogant. Our problem is not our youth. Our youth is ready to battle. I will give you that. You're not as scared. You're not as scary. And you're not afraid of the oppressor. You're not afraid like your ancestors of the past who was afraid. You're willing to put yourself out there. What do you have to lose? But yet and still you follow up behind those who cannot guide you correctly because their minds is with dead folks. Their minds is trying to continue to live comfortable among those who brought you discomfort. Listen to your own brain. Stop listening to those who quote from dead folks. Old, old books, Bible, Quran, and all this quoting from all this stuff all the time. There's wisdom in all these old things. They can't help you none. Your brain is ready to give you the answer that you need. And actually, the elder that you complain that's not here, they are here. You just ignore them because you're listening to those other elders who follow dead folks. Get yourself together. This is the beginning. If you can listen to me, just stay on that path. We'll get you liberated. You are our future. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. This is your brother, the Angel Snub Number 7. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.